Good morning, my DoorDash friends, and welcome back to another DoorDash adventure. I did take another week off. If you remember, hopefully I mentioned it in the last vlog. Uh, my tooth was hurting. It was a root canal. It was infected. I went to the dentist. They had to remove the infected root canal, all that stuff that comes with it, all the pain that comes with it. Uh, the first two days, I also got a temporary dental bridge in my mouth right now, so if I sound a little weird uh, throughout the day, it's because I'm trying to talk with it, and it's definitely not easy for some reason. It just makes my mouth feel weird, and uh, now I'll sound extra European. So, uh, other than that, I am back. It's good to be back. I got myself a chicken salad chick order. $6 going 2.4 miles. It's not the greatest order, but you know what? I got to get back into the flow of things. I've been gone for so long. Uh, so many things have changed that I did not have a chance to talk about. I wish I could have. But I also just want to say thank you to everybody that was concerned about me leaving. Everything is cool now. I took my Advils and the Amoxicillin, so we should should be good hopefully I can work all day without the pain starting again because it's been over a week now and I'm still having pain on this tooth I also just want to mention before I do go to the chicken salad chick I did go back to the dentist we did the x-rays again the dentist checked out my mouth she said everything is fine it's just because of how infected it was that's why the pain is still there but it should go away soon hopefully this week and let's go to chicken salad chick and let's start our day for Deborah cool thank you All right, there we go. Six dollars what was shown and six dollars is what we got. I gotta go ahead and get back into the flow of things, man. I just realized while I was on the way here, I was like, hold on now. That was six dollars for 2.4 miles. Now before I would never really do that, but I'm trying to be a little bit more open right now. Oh, there's a trucky wucky coming. Come on now, trucky wucky. Anyways, as I was saying, I, I normally would not do six dollars for 2.4 miles. I mean, it is 11.25 and we do got the chance to get something on the way back to the plaza and that's one thing I'm gonna be trying to also change I'm gonna try to keep moving because it feels like if you're moving you're getting orders yes Sirski got myself some sandwich action twelve dollars and sixty six cents only going three point nine miles so we will go ahead and take this hopefully it's none of the hot sandwiches uh, okay I, they change this uh, more details order uh, five items for Dawn, BLT, roast beef, roast beef, turkey, and an original. Wow, okay, so it is a lot of items, and it is lunchtime, though. It is 11.55 uh, a.m. right now. We've only done the one order for $6, so the first hour we only made $6, but we can go ahead and set ourselves up for a better second hour. Let's go to Jersey Mike's and drop this order off. Nice car, man. Alrighty, so a few things happened while I was at the Jersey Mike's. I picked up a, I think this was another $6 order going 1.4 mile burrito action. I actually already picked this order up because the Jersey Mike's took forever with their order so while the Jersey Mike's was getting ready I picked this order up I have both orders now so we can confirm it I'm not gonna do that because it's gonna show the address but that's why you guys are gonna see now that I'm dropping off a burrito action and then we'll go do the Jersey Mike's let's go There we go. Thank you. You have a great day. Okay, first time I've ever delivered here. What a weird place, man. Some of these places on the beach can be so weird, but also so cool like that place. Uh, holy crap, look at all those people coming. I'm never going to get out of here, man. That was an $18 stack. We just completed those, so hopefully there's more where that came from. And for some reason, there's just so many people coming. I'm going to go after this Kia right here, man. Is anyone coming on this side? Ain't nobody coming on that side, man. Yes, sir. Let's go. I'm going to go ahead and take a gamble on this big Mac action because it is six dollars and fifty cents hidden tip potential 3.1 miles six items if it was a low item count I might not do this and he did get a Big Mac man he got some Big Mac action no pickles and he wants extra meat for the Big Mac two large fries two frozen cokes I mean another Big Mac but this one's no diced onions and no pickles again so this guy must really not like pickles I'm a big fan of pickles man I love putting pickles in my mouth Bruh. especially when those pickles are on a big Mac. I am very happy to pick up this order now. I sound so weird, man. I promise it's not me. It's my freaking tooth, man. Uh, 12.45 p.m. So we got 15 minutes to knock this order out. Let's go. And is it for 7.59202? Thank you. I know these Big Macs are going to taste real fresh for my guy. Ooh, what's this? What we got here? What we got here? $21, but 15 miles. That's a little far. 
All right, cool. So there was a hidden tip on that. $6.50 what was shown, and we ended up getting $7.50, which makes the it, it makes the order way more worth it, right? Because $6.50 for three miles isn't really that great, but $7.50 for three miles, that's, that's a lot better. So I've just been sitting in my car for a little bit now. It seems like no orders are coming in. The hotspot is not in Seminole. It's all the way down in St. Pete. Uh, 117 p.m. right now. I did the calculations, and we're at $32. So $32 for a little over two hours which isn't really that great uh, I know in some markets some of you might say that's decent uh, in my market I tried to stay around that $20 an hour mark uh, but it just has slowed down a lot and I think that has something to do with the inflation report that came out this morning uh, that said the inflation has so far this year increased 9.1 percent uh, and if you don't know what that means that means is that general things are now 9.1 percent more expensive and a lot of memes come out saying like if you work a regular w-2 job oh my boss gave me a three percent raise and then you look at inflation and inflation is nine percent uh, so i think that plays a factor a lot of people are kind of trying to hold on to their money a little bit instead of ordering and i completely understand uh but as someone that does this job and needs people to order it does kind of suck so hopefully it picks up soon it is also uh lunchtime soon so i have to figure out something that I can eat that isn't going to really hurt my tooth. Uh, I did have water with me. I brought a water, but I forgot to bring a second one for lunch, uh, which does kind of suck. So I'm going to have to get a sweet tea. I can drink sweet tea, but I cannot drink uh, Coke or soda like that, uh, at least until August 2nd when I get this temporary taken out and then I get uh, the permanent, which then I should go back to sounding a lot normal. I don't know if I'm going to upload this video. Uh, just because of, um, I, I might be self-conscious when I'm looking back over this and like how I'm talking. So please don't judge me in the comments. I'm trying my best. All right, finally, after over 30 minutes, we finally got another order. $10 going 3.1 mile Starbucks. And it is four items from my boy Jake. A uh, pink drink, croissant, caramel ribbon crunch, and a sausage, cheddar, and egg sandwich with no eggs. Everything before this order was absolute garbage, man. And no lie, look, 1.38 p.m. So uh, what were we at, 30 $32? That means we're gonna be at $42 or around there for about three hours of work. Today has just been really bad so far. I never know when I come to the Starbucks if I'm supposed to tell them that I'm picking up the order or if I should just do it because when you think of Starbucks, they're, they're kind of like a... Uh I don't want to say, well, they are. The Starbucks is an upper class kind of place. Freaking, I took my girlfriend yesterday. No, not yesterday, a few days ago, we went to Starbucks. She got a venti pink drink, and that came out to be $7.10 where I live. And that is why I do not drink any Starbucks. And there we go. Our first Uber Eats order of the day has been completed. Uber Eats has been very slow for me. I've been getting a lot of double orders, but they're like $12 double order going eight miles or $16 going like 10 miles. Uh, those orders just really are not worth it. I think you are turning. Looks like you are. I mean, you're not moving. I do want to mention though, while I make my way back to the plaza, I have a new awesome Dasher checklist. Yes, sir. I created it during my break. So if you want to be an awesome dasher man this is all you gotta do you gotta like this video subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified of my new videos if you do all of that then you are officially an awesome dasher I'm still on the way back to the plaza I did get another order in I was contemplating whether or not I wanted to do it it is a Wendy's order ten dollars and ninety six cents I think six items the thing I was contemplating was that it's going all the way down close to the John's Pass bridge and it's not really fun delivering down there because there's a lot of traffic and right now it is summer in Florida so I'm expecting it to still probably be busy down there but it is only 156 so maybe it's not gonna be too busy and hopefully it's gonna be going to one of the condominiums which would make the order a lot easier to drop off Uh, for Abby. Oh, there you oh, go. Thank you.
Yes, Sirski, man. Look at that Supra over there. Maybe one day we're going to be driving Supras. But for now, we're going to be delivering Mexican food. As I was making my way back from the beach over there, I got this $15 going 11 miles, right? But the thing is, the second drop-off to this order only puts me about a mile, maybe two miles away from where the plaza is. So we got about 30 minutes. Hopefully, both of them are ready. And let's go make another $15. Guys, I think we did very good this hour. It is 3.01, so we didn't finish it before 3, but it's only a minute past it. We did the $10 Wendy's and the $15 stack for these uh, the Mexican restaurant. That's $25, so that does help make up for uh, from between, what was it, two, no, from between one and two. I only made $10 then. While I do have this little bit of free time though, I think I'm gonna go get myself some lunch, something light and something that's not really crunchy. I'm not allowed to eat crunchy, because they could actually break the temporary uh, bridge that I have. And I'm not trying to go back to the dentist before August 2nd because I was already back there. I don't want to go back there again. So I just got done eating my lunch and I'm healthy now, man. Look at this, man. Got myself some sweet tea action. I'm not allowed to have any soda, so I had to add sweet tea. Uh, picked up a $6.38 2.7 mile Boston Market order. Uh, not my favorite place to pick up from, but they've been pretty good lately. And all this is is a three-piece rotisserie chicken and a deluxe slice of a chocolate cake. Oh, by the way, yesterday I went to Portillo's, man. If you guys have never... Hold on, let me get some airtime. There you go, man. I'm looking good, ain't I? I can't talk properly, but I'm looking good. Anyways, as I was saying, I went to Portillo's yesterday. If you have a Portillo's next to you, definitely try it. I had the cheeseburger. It was so delicious. And I had a chili cheese dog. I don't really eat chili cheese dogs. I just wanted to try it because they're a hot dog place. And uh, it was really good. So if you have that near you, go eat it. I'm going to go do this Boston Market order now. And hopefully I can stack it with something. That would be pretty cool. So let's go. Thanks, man. Me too. Oui, yes sir. Congratulations, you have received a $5 tip. I'm at $31.86, but I don't know if I got the base pay from this last order. The Boston Market did not have the order ready, which does suck because of the amount of money I'm getting paid for the order, and there goes the dog onto the road. It's okay. And that, my friends, is why you always have to stay alert when you drive because a lot of people, man, like that lady you saw, doesn't take care of her animal, lets her dog run around without a leash. I would never let Bentley run around without a leash, man. Never, ever, man. One, Bentley's a big dog and he's a very playful dog. That's a trashy order. A very big and playful dog. He's about 70 pounds. He's a Pomsky and Australian Shepherd, so he loves people. He always wants to run up on people. And some people, they'll get scared. They'll actually shoot your dog, man. A lot of people in Florida, man. I mean, it, it's bound to happen, so you gotta take care of your pets, man, and bird! I can't even yell anymore, it sucks. Every time, look at him, he's just sitting in, look, well, why? Why do they do it? Every, every single vlog, every day I come out here, bird goes in front of my car. Well, this is a nice, easy order. Got some burrito action, $6.50 going 2.7 miles. Let's go ahead and see what we got here, man. Who's it for? Elliot, man. Got some burrito, a Mexican Coke, and another burrito bowl. You know what? Just because the fact that there's two um, uh, meal items, like food items, I think this might have some hidden tip on it. Let's go. Also, I do want to mention I've been stuck at $19.50 on DoorDash for the longest. They've been sending me a whole bunch of garbage and Uber was the one that was picking up the slack. So I'm very thankful for all of the apps, man. If you can get like Uber Eats, DoorDash, Grubhub, maybe even throwing a Spark in there, Instacart, the more apps you have, I mean, even if you do ride share, you know, the more apps you have, the more opportunities you have to make more money me I'm just not really a big fan of shopping and I'm not really a big fan of having other people in my car because they're not really respectful uh, we live in America where nobody is really held accountable uh, especially like in, in, in some places right like it's like with uber eats what is uber eats gonna do I'm gonna call them hey yeah customer spilled coke in my car they ain't gonna do nothing man they gonna make me go through a whole process fill out 50 papers just to get my car cleaned I, I don't think so well, let's go to Chipotle and hopefully this order is ready. For Elliot. 
Oh, there we go. That's freaking awesome, man. $6.50 what was shown for that, and we ended up getting $8. I think that's the biggest amount we've earned so far on a single DoorDash order. Why does this keep happening, bro? Every time I'm trying to pull out somewhere to go into traffic, I get stuck with a bunch of people coming. Oh, I'm gonna go after this Honda, man. Yes yeah oh there's another car coming no you no 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 thank you man no thank you thank you for being slow toyota oh the light's green up there though it's gonna turn red by the time i get there but very happy about that eight dollars man i'm still actually getting comments on my video saying yo moo where are you at <laughs> i tried to i, I should have made the community post a lot sooner i was just in so much freaking pain man i couldn't do it but hopefully the people that saw the community post that i posted understand the situation and if you're watching this video now you understand the situation as well all right so this is a pretty interesting order got myself a tropical smoothie and a miller's ale house order uh, but they're both going to the same person it is 5.5 miles away but there is a little bit of distance between the two restaurants so we'll just call it five miles twelve dollars maybe even a hidden tip on this it's 4 22 p.m right now so i think i will take this and i think what i'm gonna do is pick up the miller's first just because that's right there and then i'll go to tropical smoothie get that one and we're gonna drop these orders off. Let's go. Hello. I'm picking up for Patricia. Thank you. Right here, Shipwick. Yo, guys, I wish I could be more excited. Like, I'm super excited on the inside. I just can't show it with my, my voice. That was $12 what was shown. We ended up getting $17 for that order. The $6 was the tropical smoothie, and I ended up getting $11 for the Miller's Ale House. That is absolutely insane. I was not expecting that. And I'm so freaking happy about it because it is 4.52 p.m. right now. We're moving into 5 p.m. I am a little distance away from the plaza, but I am close to the Largo Plaza. So maybe we could get something from there if we're lucky, probably not on DoorDash, but maybe on Uber Eats. Wow, dude, $17. And it was going to a trailer. So, like, you know, you can't really ever judge a book by its cover. Like, the people that are middle class or, or, or even below middle class, those are the people that are always the most generous. When you go to those wealthy neighborhoods, man, some of those people, not all of them, but some of them can be so stingy. But I am super thankful for that. Hey, look, it's Mr. Wee Woo Wee Woo Man. We haven't seen Mr. Wee Woo Wee Woo Man for a while. Good job stopping, Babushka. All right. We gotta make this quick. Got myself a double order, $15.38 going 5.2 miles. Goodness, dude, it's so hard to just talk over that beeping. Uh, got myself a $15 and some change. Oh my gosh, both of them are Jersey Mike's as well, which is awesome for my girl Daisy and Eric. I will definitely take this. Hopefully they're not as busy as they were earlier and we're about to go make some money. Let's go. Okay, well that's cool. I forgot to get the drop off action for the first order, but uh, just so you guys know and so I can keep everything in chronological order i just dropped off the first order to daisy and now i'm on the way to drop off the second jersey mike's order hopefully i can remember to turn on the camera for that one hey eric hey. oh there we go man thanks so much have a great day yes yeah, thirsky i did get the drop off for the second order it was going to a kava bar i've never gone to one of those because i've never had any friends that ever wanted to go to those types of places so maybe one day maybe one day i'll visit it maybe i could vlog my adventure on my second channel Moosh's first day at a kava bar. On the way back to the plaza, got myself some PDQ action. $7.75 going 4.8. I also got an Uber Eats order. Let me see what this is. It is $2.94 going six miles. That is a decline. I'm gonna just uh, let the timer run out, man. Go ahead and let the timer run out. That's better. Okay, there we go. The PDQ line was a little long, which does suck. There's still drive through only. Uh, so that means when the drive through line is long, it's tough to get the order because I can't just skip the other people in the drive through but it was $7.75 what was shown, and that is what we got. And I'm not mad about that. $7.75 in today's economy won't really take you far, but it'll help me out a little bit. I got another order, but look how weird it is. $8.75 going 5.4 miles, but look at the map i'm i'm nowhere near that what is this dude doing bro <laughs> 
Florida. There you go. That's Florida for you. But the line is nowhere near where I'm at. I'm going to take it because it's a fantastic order. I mean, it's not 10 bucks, but uh, it's probably going to be two and a half miles for $8.75. And on top of that, I might even be able to stack this with something. Uh, it is 5.54 p.m. I'm going to try to stay out till 7. I do have a little bit of pain in the tooth. I, I forgot to bring Advil, but uh, I, I want to try to make as much money as I can because I did not work last week and I could use the money. Hi. Hey, dude. I got Allen Tower. Is it cool if I just use the bathroom and put it right yeah, there? Yeah, absolutely. You can leave it there. I appreciate it, man. No problem, man. You have a great day. You too. Here we go. One thing that I've noticed with a couple places that I drop off is that I'll drop the order off, I'll click confirm, continue, and uh, the total screen, like you know how it shows like the amount you were shown and how much you got? Uh, sometimes it doesn't pop up and it usually does happen in this area. So I'm assuming it has something to do with like the service in the area, it just doesn't want to pop up. So I don't know how much I actually made for this order. What was it, $8.75? I mean, I would assume that I would get that. Yeah, maybe $9 if I was lucky it was a relatively bigger order than usual I'm gonna go ahead and go before he comes but yeah you can hopefully see like one bar right there uh, this area has never really been good service wise to me I can still get orders but they just come in kind of slow it is 6 11 p.m. right now though still a bright beautiful day outside it is 92 degrees doesn't really feel like that because of the clouds it feels actually a lot nicer than that uh, $61.50 on DoorDash though that's a pretty solid day alrighty guys it is 6 37 p.m. right now I tried to give it as much time as I possibly could uh, but it's just so slow and I have a lot of people in my discord link is down in the description the link should be working by the way for the discord uh, but I have a couple people in my discord that also work the same market that I do that have also been saying that it is very slow uh, where they are as well uh, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and end it here uh, before I say how much we made you just have to remember that the first three hours of the day I had only made about $40 maybe $42 somewhere in that range uh, so from the start we were kind of already in a hole uh, today we made $132.79 so we were able to bring it back a little bit uh, I would have stayed out till 7 but again I've just been sitting here for 20 plus minutes uh, with nothing I've gotten like two orders both of them non tips not worth it uh, before I go though I just want to say thank you uh, to everybody that I, I have so much buildup of saliva over here because it gets stuck friggin bridge uh, and the inflammation but uh, I just want to say thank you to everybody that was uh, leaving me comments and was worried about where I was normally when I take a break I announce it uh, this time it's just that root canal the infection was really hurting and I needed to get that out before it started spreading because if you didn't know uh, it can spread down into your jaw and your jaw is where all of the nerves are and it can go all the way up to your ear and brain and stuff like that and you really if you have tooth pain I definitely recommend seeing a dentist uh, because tooth pain can really affect like your, your brain and, and all parts of your body other than that if you have not completed the awesome dasher checklist if you've made it this far into the video the first thing you got to do is like the video subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you can get notified of my uploads because sometimes YouTube does not recommend them uh, and I know a lot of people uh, sometimes I see it in the comments it's like dude I didn't even notice you uploaded a video till the next day and then I start getting views the next day it's really weird how the algorithm works but uh, thank you guys for watching hopefully it was an exciting vlog uh, the more I heal right the more time that passes by and the gum irritation and the inflammation goes away I should be able to go back to my older self the hype you know having fun you know good times I think we had a good time today though you know I, I think I, you know I think today was a good day even though it was a little slow I still think we had a good day and I hope you guys had a good day as well thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next one have a good night guys